Oh no, I'm invisible. Forgot to load my avatar. Ah, it's the ghost of Sofa Lottia. Oh, spooky. Spooky scary. Whoa. Whoa, where am I? Nobody knows. Oh, is it, is it, is it, is it loading? Oh. He he hello? Hello. There I am. Whoa, I'm huge. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see if I can bring this up. No, I'm still huge. All right. Things have happened. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me. You're not that huge. I'm, I'm, I'm massive. I'm never this big. Also, like, I seem to be, like, looking down. Like, do I need to, like, adjust the camera a bit? Maybe that's better. Um, still kind of looking down. Hey. Um, goodness. Let's fix this real quick. But. We are adjusting the hands to do that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. There we go. Goodness. How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is well. Okay, that's a bit better. Ah, there we go. Of course, I've, my, one of my free hands is just stuck there. That's pretty funny. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Um, so, gosh, I was like messing with things. There we go. That's a bit better. All right. Hey, everyone. <laughs> uh, how are we doing? Um, this is Zelda 2, um, the Zelda 2 PC enhanced port slash Blinkers Adventuresome made by Hoverbat. Also, I still have the Solaris logo. Wow, I am so unprepared today. Holy crap. Boop. There we go. Lobo, did you want to bring your Vita Ravatar on today? No. Nah. I'm pretty low energy, so... Yeah, me too. It's been a long day. I was, like, gonna do things that I feel too crap to do, so I'm streaming instead. Um, so never, like, we never, like, put a logo on screen for this game, so I'm gonna try and... try and remedy that. Now, I, I know I had a Zelda 2 logo downloaded somewhere. But good luck finding it. Let's start by a new thing. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to use this one. There we go. So, last night we streamed some Stellaris and that was a lot of fun. That is, that is so hard to read. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I didn't use that logo last time. You know, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm not going to bother the logo. Oh dear. We have a link. <laughs> yeah, the link. <laughs> anyway, um, so last we played um rose was joining me and she fell asleep on stream <laughs> um and we got some items um i got this um this hunk of meat which um has a cool effect and i also got a ring which i wasn't sure what it does but i think i just realized i think it's a permanent protect spell oh. so L link is always brown now <laughs> good old brown tunic i guess it's meant to be red but it definitely looks more brown than red But yeah, um, check out this hunk of meat. Oh, it didn't work. All right, maybe it, <laughs> it just activates sometimes, I guess. Um, so yeah, what's our progress? Um, we've completed all of the main dungeons. There are all the gems. There's like two items I'm missing. I, uh, I don't know what they are. I seem to be missing a magic container. And 
one one up and two items hmm oh yeah one of the items was a magic key which is an item in the original zelda 2 that i thought i didn't know was in this one maybe that'll come up in the final dungeon i don't know um and there's one other item so i don't really know i th yeah i don't know but i think what we have to do now is I think we just have to beat the final dungeon. I did some research and I think there is post-game content. Cause like, if we go to, um, if we go to the um, Valley of Death, there's like a secret area you can reach now. And that has um, what seems to be like, it's like a giant door with Triforce symbols on it. So it makes me think, okay, I gotta, I gotta beat, I gotta beat Dark Link and get the Triforce and then it'll open. So post-game content. Also, here's a cool Great thing. Wee. We got a shortcut to the Great Palace. That's super cool. Oh yeah, we, we didn't get all the slimes yet. There's one slime we can't figure out how to get. Did you figure out how to get the one that's on the totem? Where it goes yes, really we did. You oh. gotta use the thunder spell. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. Rose figured that one out. Um, but yeah, seems, one seems obvious in hindsight. There's one slime we can't find. We think it's probably on top of the northern castle, like where you start the game. But there doesn't seem to be any way up there. However, I noticed there is slot for one more spell. So I think there's going to be a secret sp spell in the post game. It's going to get us that slime. That's my current theory. So we're just going to jump into the, the Great Palace now. Now, if you don't know, if you haven't played Zelda 2 before, this palace is infamously difficult. It's pretty insane. But, um, I'm confident we can do it. Especially now that we have, like, a map that's going to help a lot. And we have more abilities than we did in the original game, too. And, um, more lives. There's, there's lots, lots of stuff. What am I doing? Just run. <laughs> All right, so we, got, we got, yep, so we got some, um, new enemies in this area. Actually, just one second. I'm just gonna adjust one thing so I can see clearer. Um, okay, that's better for me. Sorry, I should be screen sharing. I completely forgot about you. Um, I've been watching your stream. Well, I'll screen share for you so you got the real time Thank feed. That, that should work. Alrighty. So we got some unique enemies in this palace that only show up here. Here's one of them. Don't ask me its names, because I don't know them. <laughs> They're all like bird themed. I don't know why, like all the enemies in this um, dungeon have a bird theme. And I guess it's cause like, I guess the idea is this is meant to be um, Thunderbirds dungeon. Yeah, it's the birds dungeon. Yeah, it's the birds. It's, it's for the birds. And it's not Ganon's dungeon, it's the birds dungeon. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, none of these enemies ever come up in other Zelda games as far as I'm aware. Like, what's the lore of this Zelda 2? It's like, it's said, um... Some point in the future of Zelda 1, I think it might be like generations after Zelda 1. Um, I think that's the idea, is that this is like a different Link, different Zelda from the first game. Um, but in this one... Ganon, you know, he's 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 been sealed away or killed or something. I think he was killed and some evil magician is trying to resurrect him. Um, and that's basically... I forget if the magician has a name. Um, but yeah, he's trying to resurrect Ganon and he needs Dark to kill us magician. to do it. Or something. I think, I think that might be the idea. He might need... I think he needs to kill... Um, he needs to kill Link to get his Triforce. I think that's the plot, if I remember correctly. Oh, cool, we can use the chicken. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, Whoa. the game did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it didn't crash, holy shit. Ow, what happened again? Yeah, that might be a bit of an oversight by the dev. <laughs> like, you, you put this here, and then you make us like the game glitches out when we use it. That's that's a bit weird. Bit weird. They're doing mm. their best. Yeah, you know, like I complain about little nitpicks 
But I'm so thankful to Hoverbat for creating this. It's like, holy shit. It's amazing. Also, that pillar, yeah, shows you where you gotta jump. That's cool. Now oh, we got the fucking Mario Fire Buzz! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. They knew what they yeah, were I'm... doing. <laughs> Maybe someone more knowledgeable about Zelda 2 Lock can tell me what all this means. But I don't fucking know. It's just bird, it's a bird dungeon, and the, the magician is like at the bottom of the dungeon, and then we have to fight Dark Link, who is another one of his creations, I guess. Don't know what Thunderbird has to do with all of it. And maybe there is like l long explanations in like some books or something. Power of the story, I wonder if that has anything I, on Zelda 2. I, I don't think they thought about it too much. They probably don't. I don't know, I find it interesting, thinking about stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's but kind like, of but, but they didn't. <laughs> Maybe. Is that, I mean, games they, are very they had, simplistic. They had deadlines. <laughs> Indeed. Well, so this is different. I don't remember lava being in this room. But if I remember... Whoa! Oh, okay. That's different. So that was crack. All right. Right, I see. I get it. All right. This is a different kind of challenge than what I'm used to. Ah! Oh god, um... Come on. Come on, get me through. There we go. Now, if I remember correctly, our... Our new bird friend should be in this room. Or it might not be, it might be different. And they were in this room. Basically, the eye knuckles, but... A lot stronger and scarier. Let's check the map. Alright, so we missed a path we could have taken to the right. I do want to 100% this, so I might have to go back at some point. Yep, so this is our friend. It's an eye knuckle, but he fucking jumps and shit. He's, he's crazy. <laughs> and like, I don't know. <laughs> he didn't skip leg day. He didn't. Hell yeah. So the, the bots are a lot stronger in this one. Just to keep you on your toes, I guess. I'm gonna use jump. There might be a secret. There wasn't. Cool. <laughs> um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Ow. have a key, so I'm turning around, I guess. Ah. Ooh. Gotcha. Alright, should I go back? It's kind of a long way back. I might just go down. Weirdly shaped room, but okay. Is that elevator still going to be there? Okay, good. That's weird. I haven't seen anything like that before. I'm guessing that's a platform you can go up but not down. I'm also... Whoa. I was going to say I wouldn't be surprised if there's an invisible floor. Whoa! But I guess we, that's why we've got these things. We don't need an invisible floor. Oh, it's a fucking dead end. It's a trap! Can't heal anymore. Wait, does protect protect me extra? Oh, it does! Whoa, new tunic color! That's awesome! That's great! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's just double check the map. Yeah, it's a dead end. I'm alive. 
But yeah, I've been pretty low energy today, like... It was really hot, and I was also congested, so I didn't sleep well. Whoa, okay, okay, that's why the room was like that. Oh. Um... You were looking for secrets. Oh, I can hear now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's cool. Where are we going? Jump. Woo, 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 woo. Oopsie. Nice. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that was there! That was just a really quick reaction! <laughs> you know, I, I just had like a distinct childhood memory, you know, how I talked about how I couldn't beat this game as a kid. Couldn't get past mm -hmm. the, um, the sixth dungeon. Um... I remember, as a kid, I would look through, like, um... I don't know what you'd call it. I don't think it was a strategy guide. It was just a book. I, I just remember there was a book at the library just talking about Nintendo games, and it had, like, information on enemies and stuff. And, like, I looked up fucking Zelda 2, and I'd see, like, enemies from this dungeon, like, whoa, I've never seen that before. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. So what now? This, this seems like a dead end. Again. Oh, there's a secret. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Let's figure this out. Alright. Pick it up there. Nope. What's the secret? Ah. Uh, so, hmm. This might be something you fall down instead of go up. Yeah. Guess we're going back. I wish there was a spell or something to just take me back to the start of the dungeon. That'd be a good addition. Instead of making me have to sacrifice all my lives. But I don't know. Maybe that would kill the flow of the game. Combo. I, I can't stand yeah. on that. Cool. Good to know. <laughs> Let's try this again. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you're really gonna nice. like time it well. Gotta be a god gamer. <laughs> Oh, there's a puff down I haven't taken yet. I, I guess I'll go that way. Same story. So now I'm going back up. I want, I want to see what's over that way. Last night was lots of fun. Mm -hmm. I um 
I got to... Were you there for the whole thing? I think you... No, you stepped Ooh. out, like, midway. Mm-hmm. Well, two-thirds in or something. But yeah, like... I got to experiment with strategies and game styles I've never done before, and that's... That's cool. Because it's very easy in those kind of games to get stuck in your ways and just adopt one strategy and just keep doing it. Um, mm -hmm. So this time... You know, I was very much locked in. Like, I just, as you can see from my stream, like, I had like 10 stars and then I was locked out of the rest of the galaxy by Lily. And so I was like, well, do I make friends with her or? And then I saw that our ethics were completely incompatible. So I'm like, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll go on the offensive. And so I did. And, um,. It was really interesting because she had much more access to resources than I did, but I still managed to like hold my own. Like she really focused hard on defense in her civilization, whereas I chose to focus a lot more on well, offense. Um, you know, my first traditions were, um, I forget what it's called, but like the military one. Mm -hmm. And after that, like, well, I basically, I was, I was putting, I was focusing so much of my resources into technology so that I could have the latest weapons and stuff. Um, and, and then when I like found I didn't have enough resources, what I would do is I basically started terraforming, which is a system that I've often neglected to do in Stellaris. And I don't know why, cause it's really powerful and helpful. Um, so I did a bunch of terraforming on different planets um, to make sure I had more that I could use. And another thing that I really invested in this time was espionage, which is a system that I've always kind of neglected. Um, but I thought, fuck it, this time let's give it a shot. And it worked really well. I think espionage is how I ended up eventually defeating Lily. Um, uh -huh. I, I, I broke my way out. Like she, she had like this massive wall that she'd like really well fortified the salty wall. Oh shit. <laughs> um, and I couldn't get through it. It was just too, the defenses were too high. So what I would do is um, I spent a lot of points in espionage. And so what happens when you get lots of espionage in Stellaris is you gain intel in the empire. And when you have more intel, if you can see their ships, you could actually zoom in and see what the ships are made of. So I, I was doing that. I was getting espionage and using that to find out what her ships were made of. And once I had that information, um, I could then design my ships to exploit her weaknesses. So I found, for example, that she had very little point defense, which you need to defend against missiles. I'm like, okay. So I just load up on my ship with missiles and I, destroyed her sorry what was that that was how i got defeated before really yeah by who i forget let's say hmm. wait i think it was the same person <laughs> lily lily yeah i think so we're really <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's fucking powerful. Um, and I think information warfare especially is something we um, we kind of sleep on, but that's like so powerful in Stellaris, it's crazy. So yeah, I just like, I was very meticulous with my ship designs this time around, and um, it paid off big time. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was really satisfying though, to reach that point. And like, I like basically wiped out Lily's homeworld in a second, and she's like, she had like ships in the neighboring system. So she thought like, if I start a fight there, she could send in the reinforcements and fuck me up. But I was just too quick. I won before her reinforcements could get there. I'm like, yes. I think that uh, was it that. I'm not 100% sure. It was pretty late at the end of the stream. Okay. But yeah, it was very good. <laughs> And then at the end, um, she accidentally pressed a button, which made her surrender to me. <laughs> and she's like, oh no! <laughs> so we had to roll back like a turn, like a few turns, a, yeah. few, a few months, and um, we redid it. <laughs> but I, I still dominated her, and even if I, like, I didn't win the war technically, I pretty much did. And she's and my plan this time is I'm gonna, if we continue that game, I'm gonna make her my vassal. 
So that'll be interesting. It's another system I've barely engaged in. So that was a lot of fun. I, it was really good to be pushed out of my comfort zone a bit for once. <laughs> Rose went out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> Oh, is there an invisible yeah, that's, floor? That's the only yeah. way I would imagine she would go out. <laughs> so you're liking Bocce the Rock, huh? It It's the best anime of the season, I think. <laughs> is it better than K-On? I refuse to compare them now. <laughs> It, it there's so so like before I was like oh it's it's just like Kaon again but now I'm like no that's that's being like as good as Kaon is I think it's reductive to both series to compare them at this point I think they they're hmm. like they're made of some of the same stuff but otherwise they're like have completely different out outlooks on it. Hmm. Like, um... It's a weird room. So, with Bochi the Rock, the main character is basically oh. Giga Social Anxiety, and mm -hmm. she just wants... She she picked up instruments because she thought, oh, well, people like rock stars, so people will finally talk to me if I become a rock star. <laughs> and that, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> no... So she's just really good at guitar and has a fairly successful YouTube channel making content. Huh. But she wants to join a rock band, and that's kind of how the story starts. I see. But it the story itself has had, like... I'm uh, not sure of a good way to put it. It's just, like, it's really good, but it's, like... Polar opposites to k -On in a lot of ways. Like, it takes a lot of much more serious... Like, it, it's serious and more realistic than k -On by a lot. Okay, that's something I like to hear. Maybe I'll check it mm -hmm. out. Like, it's still goofy, but it's like... The, the kind of humor that it goes for is like... Hmm... I don't know, it doesn't go for, like, cute, comfy humor like Aeon. It goes for, like, oh shit, you have to think of a social interaction falls on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. And it, it has, like, um, a way more experimental animation style than Aeon has. Yeah, I noticed that. That definitely drew me to it. Mm -hmm. And then in, like, the most re recent episode, there's even some, like, live action bits. And, mm. like... I don't know, there's like rotoscoping CG and it's all done really well. It's just, I don't know. It's like, k -On is a very pure thing, not just like in the terms of like cute, but like it's feelings and messages trying to send. Like it's just a comfy, nice thing. And that's mm. always what it tries to be. It never try it. It doesn't have any challenging ideas, but yeah. Like other than like, it's sad when school ends. <laughs> like that, yeah. that. That's the most challenging idea Kaon has. Yeah. But this one it has like a lot to say. Actually, it's like hmm. as far as like I don't want to say that it's better written than Kaon, and this is kind of why I didn't want to compare them to begin with. Well, or, well, no, I did want to compare them to begin with, but after the most recent episode, I can't. Hmm. Uh, What's going on in this room? Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, what? Try, I, I would try jump if you can. Maybe there's a platform. I think, on the... I, think I need to go up. That's what it's telling me to do. So if I look at the map to left and up. Yeah. Whoa. All right. <laughs> um. That's, oh, yeah, it's that, not that gonna work. work. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Need to dance, right? There we go. Nice. 
But yeah, so the, the reason I don't want to compare them is because k is kind of like it exists for you to, like, forget about your worries and just relax. Whereas mm. Bochi is, like, very much confronting those feelings. And that is... It, like, like I said, the, the feeling that I had was like, well, it's better written than Kaon, for sure. But, mm. like, that's not quite it, because Kaon isn't trying to be incredibly thought-provoking. But, like, yeah. it's the kind of media that I really enjoy. And, like, I do I think Bochi the Rock will replace Kaon in my favorites? No, I don't think so. But, mm. like, that's probably because I have social anxiety, and <laughs> watching a character have massive social anxiety is kind of pain in a lot of ways. Hashtag relatable. Maybe chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Alright, I'm gonna try chicken. <laughs> good good call. <laughs> now he glitched. Wow! <laughs> That's unfortunate. I thought we were onto something there. <laughs> I really do. Um, because there's a, like a thing there, but maybe it's another thing where you gotta drop down, because I'm seeing like... There's like a path there that could lead to something, maybe? I don't know. Weird room. Well, I'm just like suddenly a lot we, lower. We, I just want to say we were not at fault for that. It was the game developer's fault. <laughs> they should have known that you would do that. <laughs> I don't know what that room was for. It's like, it seemed like there was a puzzle there, but maybe not. I mean, I think it is. Like, that, that that's what that felt like to me. Unless you drop down from above. Weird. I mean, this dungeon was known in the original game for having rooms that don't go anywhere. But I still think it's a bad <laughs> they, they added more rooms that don't go anywhere. Yeah, How nice they're... of that. <laughs> Different rooms that don't go anywhere. <laughs> Are we close to the Thunderbird? We might be. This might be the way. Cause we seem pretty- Whoa! Hello! Oh. Greetings, friend. There's a trampoline! A living trampoline! A liquid living trampoline! Can I jump in this? I'm guessing so. I can't. Wait, oh, no, okay. you... I'm just gonna stay here for a minute. Alright. Whoa. Ow. Ooh, I hate it. Oh. <laughs> I need I need to move. Um <laughs> jump. I think the thing that makes me the most sad about Bochy's Rock is that it's debuted in such a packed season and people yes. aren't gonna watch it. It's gonna it's gonna be recreated again. Mm. Well, is it on Crunchyroll at least? Um, Not that I use Crunchyroll anymore. Yeah. But... <laughs> Let me Just asking for, asking for a sense of perspective. It is on Crunchyroll, so okay. it has a it has a chance. Yeah. But like, but there is still like it, it, it needs some big YouTubers to praise it. <laughs> yeah. Then again, but it didn't I, help I recreate us. I... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Well, the people, the people that watch anime YouTubers are generally people who keep up with the season anyway. Those are not mm. the people who let shows pass by. Yeah. Well, with recreators, it it probably helped more than it would with Bochi the Rock. Yeah, I think it's really good. Uh, 
another thing it actually doing to yeah, like I'll give it a I'll give it a look. I'll see if it appeals to me. The the compliment that I want to give it though is it, it actually has foreshadowing and is is like setting up stuff to happen in the future, which again is something that Kaon never did. He didn't yeah. need to do that. Yeah. It sounds like Kaon well Maybe we shouldn't be drawing comparisons. But it's just got a bit of me more meat on the bones, which is something I appreciate in my anime. If I was to compare it to a thing, I would compare it a bit to Watamote. Yeah, but like, I mean, with the not, social anxiety. Not, yeah, but like not as cringy as it, but like still a little. Did you watch Komi-san? Nope. Neither did I. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> But I've heard people compare it to that, is all I'm saying. Mm. In terms of anime about awkward, socially awkward girl. Yeah. But I, I, I saw a, I think I saw a headline saying Bochi the Rock is, you know, a much better portrayal of social anxiety than Komi-san was. So yeah. I, I agree with that. I, I was, I wasn't, whoa, there's a, well, not, there's not a floor there. <laughs> yeah. Um. But, um, yeah, it definitely, like, I feel for the main character. Bochi is, she's just, like, I want to give her a hug. <laughs> she needs a hug and to be told mm. that she's okay. Oh. Yeah. But, yeah, like, it's, it's not just the social anxiety. It's, like, other aspects of stuff, too. Like, there's just so much true-to-lifeness going on in it, and, again, that's the opposite of Kaon. Kaon, nothing about it is true-to-life, really. Yeah, nah, it's just escapism. But, like, that has a place, too, and like I said, sure, I still sure. probably, like, like I, I can't say for certain if, like, Bochi the Rock gets, like, 50 episodes, and, like, like a, a heart... A heart, uh, what's... Heartbreaking mm -hmm. ending or something like that, like something something that makes me feel and cry. Then maybe it can it can replace Kaon as like my favorite all time music thing, mm. music anime. But it's not there yet. Oof. Don't really need that, but thank you, game. <laughs> all right, what, what's going on in this room? Is this another chicken room? I think it might be. Chicken time! Let's go. I should have grabbed that magic hindsight. Oh well, after I cast the spell. Oh! I should have seen that coming. Uh. Wait, wait hold on. Wait, wait I, I just. <laughs> I just realized oh, I'm watching your. I accidentally somehow swapped from <laughs> Discord to your stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm back to live. <laughs> that was so. What <laughs> this, this dungeon is is already confusing. I guess there are ways to make it confusing even when you do have a map, huh? So like, I've been here. Yeah, I think I have. All right, we're going right now. It's decided. Going down. So have you been watching the big things that people like to talk about, like Chainsaw Man? Of course. I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> Open your eyes, just kind of like... I don't have okay. I'll put all three. To that. I don't have much good or bad to say about it. Hmm. It's just like it, it's like yeah, I, I can watch this. This is fine. It's enjoyable. Yeah. But I like. I feel but like it's. I, I wouldn't. It's call, I wouldn't call it gripping. <laughs> I feel like it's still building up though. Like, and that's that's. I'm I'm fine with that. Um. I feel like it hasn't shown all its cards yet, and. People really care about this series, so I feel like there's more to it. Um, I, I, I know spoilers. I ended up watching. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I think it was. To I think totally not. Mark re reviewed the manga, and I decided to 
Watch that. Gotcha. This is hard. It's just kind of... I don't know. It's definitely got a style to it that's very captivating. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Um, but but it, I, I'm saying that it's fine, but like, fine is a letdown from the hype. Hmm, maybe. It's like, I, I think it's like a 7 or 8 out of 10, but everyone was making it seem like a 10 out of 10. Hmm. But like I said, I think it hasn't shown its full hand yet, so I'm willing to give it some more time before I have anything strong to say about it. But I'm always mm -hmm. someone that's like, I've always been someone that watches anime based more on... Oh, do you not get XP for killing those? Apparently not. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've always been someone that watches anime more based on the story than anything else. And mm -hmm. an anime can be the best looking thing in the world. It can have like the best like atmosphere. Oh, so what you're saying is you watch, you watch Berserk 2016 is what you're saying. I, oh, I, no, I haven't watched it. <laughs> but Berserk is a great story. Why didn't you watch this anime that clearly... <laughs> See, I'm just, I, I'm just poking on. There, there's always a limit, right? Like it's, I haven't like, watched it, so I can't j join you on the joke. But I've watched many terrible, like, terrible-looking anime that I get into because the story's great. Like, um... One Punch Man Season 2, I suppose. Um... Well, but I, I'm... <laughs> I mean, Echo is an extreme example because, like, the adaptation isn't just, like, you know, animated bad, but actually they handle the source material really poorly. But mm -hmm. it's still a good enough premise that it got me interested in the visual novel, and I think that says something <laughs> just to the quality of the original source material. But it, it, it bled through even in those bad conditions. <laughs> And I could honestly say when it came out that I really liked the Umineko anime. I won't say that anymore <laughs> now that I've read the visual novel. But at the time, I was like, yeah, this was enjoyable. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's a frame of reference thing, I suppose. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I, that's what I mean. Like, um, Summer Spider, so what, is another great example of like an anime that's fucking looks gross. But I really like the story. So, so... so... So, what do you say to somebody who watched the rewrite anime and loved it? Read the visual novel. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably, there's there's definitely got to be people like, I mean, look. No, there are people like that, because you know what? The second season of rewrite wasn't half bad. And yeah. I'll stick by that. Because it was an adaption. <laughs> it was actually an adaptation, yeah. Did you know I own the, um... I own an episode script from the rewrite anime. Nice. I believe it was from the moon arc. I can't remember which episode. Second one, maybe? Um, yeah. I'm still waiting for my physical edition of the English release of rewrite. It'll eventually come out, right? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, we were talking about it on Kazumanto the other day, like, they still haven't put achievements in the game yet. Um, apparently they're just waiting on someone to do that, and no one's done it yet, so... <laughs> uh. I'm just going on this dungeon. Did I go this way already? I did, what, sure. what if there's a way to jump up in the... Did you, like, hmm. jump against the roof all throughout here? Well, I'm thinking I need to go here. There's a key, a locked door there that I can't open. Okay. I need the magic key. I guess, because I haven't seen any keys in this dungeon. Right now, I am in a new area. Let's go right. Ow. Ow. Hey, mm. stop hiding off screen. See, I don't know if I said this, but this is actually a um, reproduction of the assembly code from the original game. So, like, all the weird, like, performance, like, this weird behavior of characters and enemies and stuff, like, is totally preserved as is. With some adjustments made of, on top of it, of course, but yeah. 
I didn't know you could fucking convert assembly into fucking game maker. That's pretty crazy. I want that magic. jump. Not to love this. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. That was, that was close. <laughs> Almost fell through. Alright, where's the invisible floor? I know it's coming. <laughs> Maybe we should just keep a close eye on the map. Oh, it's a key door. Of course. Of course. Just use I fairy hope... to go through the door. I hope I didn't miss a key, uh, the magic key, somewhere else in the game. Mm, jump. Uh, what about the last slime? Enemies don't drop keys in this game. Well, but what if the like the reward for getting all the slimes is the key? All right, maybe, but um, yeah, I haven't figured out a way to get it yet. Where where is the last slime? It's in the northern castle somewhere. Oh, I mean, it's, it's just somewhere. Yeah, we we can see it on the map, but we can't see where it is exactly. I assume it's on the roof. But we need some way to get up there, and I think my, my theory is that it might be a spell for that. Fairy? It's all, like it's the actual just, fairy? <laughs> it's all just theory, though. Yeah, the actual fairy spell, maybe, yeah. I was personally thinking, if it's a spell that, like, freezes every enemy on the screen to turn them into platforms, that could be really cool. Because it's like a slime that, like, kind of jumps down from the roof, which is what kind of brought this whole theory on. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. So many pathways. Um Yeah, let's keep going this way. See what we can find. If I can kill in one shot now. Nice. Guma. I remember you. Guma with two O's, not to be confused with Guma <laughs> with a U. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> because it's not to be confused. <laughs> if, you, if you just say, don't be confused, then you won't be. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, it's a trap! Ah! <laughs> no! Uh, I got japed. I got japed big time. I wanted, I wanted to go up there. Oh, <laughs> damn it. This dungeon Should've is so known. big! <laughs> big and mean. It is. And I want 100% it. <laughs> it's pretty insane how much more equipped I feel to take on this dungeon than I did in the original NES game. Like, ah! Oh! God damn it. <laughs> but just the amount of like power ups you gain in the game really makes us a lot more tolerable. Hell yeah.
here. It's it's here. Yeah, no. It's here. No? Maybe it's not respawning. I'm sure there's a big slime thing there. Ah, this room again. I'm gonna jump. Sounds right. I'm gonna go left. Pretty close to leveling out. Oh, hello. You have reached Terminal Dogma. I thought that was such a cool name in Evangelion. I love the ball that gives me no experience. <laughs> think it's an oversight? I think it was like that in the original Zelda, actually. Uh, Weird. Think it was an oversight? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Guma! The other Guma! What's he ah, doing here? <laughs> it's Guma with a U, not with two O's. <laughs> Turn into a chicken and you'll defeat him. Maybe. Fuck it, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Yo! You're right! <laughs> Chicken OP! <laughs> gonna peck its shins. That's, it's not perfect though, it's just still taking a while. Oh, yeah, get him in the corner! Yes! Oh! Nope. What if I take more damage like this? Time to heal. <laughs> Come on! Go, Chicken, go! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> nice. Chicken so OP. Sad. So satisfying. He, so here's here's an idea for a speed run. Chicken only run. You can only kill enemies if you are chicken. Hey, the magic key. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> chicken only run. Yeah. I'm only missing one item. It's the last one. So like... That makes me think it's gotta be like something special, like maybe post game. Maybe. Um huh. Key X A. Nice. You know <laughs> Alright, I left another memory. So like I could never um, beat the um, the sixth dungeon because this, the idea of the sixth dungeon is you're meant to get the magic key so you can unlock all the key doors. Mm -hmm. But there's a trick. Keys in Zelda Two aren't tied to the specific uh, aren't tied to specific dungeons. And this was um. Uh, so you can bring keys from another dungeon. <sighs> oh god! I can't sneeze. It's not coming out. Ugh. But yes, you can bring keys from another dungeon. They fixed this in this version, so you can't anymore. But in the original, you could. And what was interesting is that there were many doors in Zelda 2, or at least a few of them, that were completely optional. So, you know, as a kid, my idea was, oh, I got to, like, preserve my keys through the whole game and, like, bring them all to this dungeon. <laughs> I never really accomplished my aim, but <laughs> I had a theory that it might be possible. And I don't know, maybe it is. <laughs> I'm sure speedrunners have done it. If it is. Yeah. It's like so 
stupid. If can you imagine if that was the official solution? <laughs> just be, that would make Zelda 2 the worst video game ever. <laughs> Legitimately. You mean it's already not? <laughs> <laughs> Even more worse. <laughs> and this game's good, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, is, it is no Atari ET. <laughs> I guess we got this way again. No, oh, I don't have the magic. Hold on. I can get my magic though, can't I? Uh, what, what happened? There we go. She made chicken noises when you got hurt. <laughs> Alright, this is the trap room. Um, let us be careful. I'm gonna get chicken again. Oh, there it is. I really want that um, experience, but it's not worth it. Oh, that's so tempting, isn't it? Just looking at it. Wait, is this... Is this, an, is this actually a dead end? No way. No, no. It's not. It's not a dead end. Surely. Pick, pick, pick. It's not working. Oh my god, it's a dead end. Well, yes. I guess I'm trying to get that experience now. Jump. Yeah. I can't crawl through it. No. Nope. Alright, that's it. Down I go. Where is it? What the hell's the hole? There it is. Alright, back here. Um So I guess more of the dungeons opened up now. Where was the bit I fell down last time? I I was it was there. That, that's the part I wanted to go to that I couldn't. So I guess we can go back there now. Radio. Tally ho! This dungeon's transport infrastructure is weird. This is a secret final dungeon. That'd be cool. I've also been checking out MUDs, as I'm sure you've seen. And that's been an interesting experience. I feel like, yeah, it could be something I could really see myself getting into quite a bit. Um. Just because, like, you know how I've always spoken about how one of my favorite things about MMOs is the player interaction. And, like, mm -hmm. MUDs are entirely player-driven. It's like they kind of, like, they play tonic ideal of that. Even though it's, like, a very old technology, it's still, like, it seems to offer an experience you can't get anywhere else. So I'm really interested to keep exploring and see if I can get a lot of fun out of it. Did you know that the word chat room came from MUDs? I found that interesting. Came from what? MUDs, what I'm talking about. MUDs? Oh, alright. I guess you tuned out. Um, yeah, multi-user dungeons. We, we had oh, a conversation okay. about it last time. Right. <laughs> Text-based MMOs. Right, right. Yeah, I've been getting into them. Um, I just think it's so interesting. Um, and the fact that they still have, like, an active player base is so cool. You know, like, I go, I go up to someone, and I'm just like, you know, I want to join your city. And it's like, well, I was talking to an NBC, and they're like, sorry, you need to get permission from this player. <laughs> and it's like, and then I go and find that player, and it's like a level a million, really, like, shiny looking dude according to his description 
I'm like, hey, can I join the city? I kind of like, I like it here. And then they invited me to the city and he gave me like a list of laws that I have to follow. You know, like, no player killing unless like, you know, under very spe special circumstances. No littering was a rule too. You can't just drop your inventory on the ground. <laughs> If you do, you either pay a fine or you have to do community service to like clean up litter. <laughs> it's like wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I got to heal. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm actually reading MMO stuff right now. What do you mean reading MMO stuff? Tibia is getting a cool update. Ooh. This is sort of like a perk tree that kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Path of Exile, but not not as ridiculously deep as that. Right. It's so crazy that these games are still getting updates, huh? Yeah. And it's this is like a really cool one. And I've been like playing the game obsessively for the last week or two now. Hmm. And just looking up is like, oh shit something that actually matters to me now because I'm playing the game. <laughs> and also, they it has a system that I really, really appreciate because that they just described. So basically, it's this like talent point system. The points that you get that can be used on it you can spend freely and uh, reallocate them freely whenever you want. No cost. That's awesome. Yeah, so you can, like, on the... Well, maybe not on the fly, like, mid-combat, but, like, anytime yeah. you want, you can just be like, I, I want to try a different flavor and just swap. And yeah, so... Even, even in things like World of Warcraft, you can't do... Like, like it's why, a cost. Yeah, why I mean, don't more games do that? What do you think is the reason? Because there needs to be artificial gold sinks that cause players to lose money to the system. Or else the prices will inflate. I guess they want people to keep playing and the best way to do that is to make them grind for more like content. Like make new characters if they want to try new classes and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Which is still something you have to do in Tibia, but there's only four classes in Tibia. Only four, huh? That's not many yep. at all. And the, they all have a really interesting way of... I wasn't expecting that head to jump from one wall to the other. <laughs> and yeah, um, here we are. It's one of these fucking rooms again that has nothing in it. Guess I'm going back. So, the the way that... Um, the, the biggest differentiators for Tibia between the classes, at, at the least when it first came out, was... Um, Knight, there's knights, paladins, druids, and sorcerers. Hmm. Paladins are the ranged DPS class, um, which I, I thought is kind of interesting. But the, there, there is some historical references to paladins being a ranged class, right? I'm not crazy. I don't know much about the paladins in history. Okay, I, I just know that usually, like holy magic, is the paladin thing, and yeah, I think RPGs. That, that is, I think that's a Wizards of the Coast invention, though. It might be, yeah. Uh... But, um, anyway, the paladin, Paladins... The Paladins were like French knights, weren't they? Um, I, don't fucking, I don't fucking know about Paladins. Through the Wikipedia, Paladin yeah. Wiki. Um... Oh, right, Charlemagne's Paladins. That, yeah. That was, uh... So, like, knights, yeah? Yeah, but some of them could have wielded a bow, so that's... Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have, like, n like ra ranged weapons existed at the time of... Yeah, it's like, you know, like, no, I'm a sword user, I can't use bows, like, it's not really a thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I mean, it have, is in some would... MMOs. You would in have, World of I mean, Warcraft, in real, life, it is. in real life, like, you know, you yeah. definitely have people that are, like, experts at bow, at bowmanship, but mm -hmm. you, you, I would expect, like, any sort of, like, you know, soldier of, like, you know, the Middle Ages to at least be proficient in a sword and a bow, like, at the bare minimum. 
Mm -hmm. So anyway, the the way Tibia kind of does its stats and stuff with classes is um, Paladins gain a range skill the fastest of the four classes. They gain magic at a medium rate and melee skills <laughs> at a medium rate. So they're like kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. Although yep. their range skill is still the best. So like in, in there, there was a point in time when paladins were the strongest in class in the game because they weren't balanced well enough. <laughs> so then there's knights, which are the melee class, Shit. and ah. um, uh, okay. so knights gain melee skills, shielding, and melee attacks fastest. They can kind of do distance fighting, but it isn't very good, and they their magic is the weakest. And mm. then sorcerers and druids gain magic the fastest. They're both kind of the same, but druid is more healing focused and nature focused, where sorcery is more death and destruction focused. Mm. But um, the way the classes level up is the differentiator as well. When a uh, class levels up, they basically gain 55, I believe it's 50, let me just do the math. Um, I sure love rooms that go nowhere. <laughs> okay, it's, it's 45, I believe, total. Hmm. So, wait. No, that doesn't make sense. Or wait, does it? Yes, it does. So, um... When knights level up, they gain 15 max health, 5 max mana, and 25 uh, storage capacity. The storage capacity is an important stat in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, paladins gain 10 health, 15 mana, and 20 capacity, and mages gain 30 mana, 5 health, and 10 capacity. So that, that's kind of how leveling up, like, what do you get from leveling up is basically just more stat. Yeah. But, but like, you don't... Well, okay, technically you do more damage, but it's, like, a very insignificant amount. Like, a level 1 and a level 100 player with the same skills would be, like, it'd be, like, a 10 damage difference max. Right. So there's a huge emphasis on like training your skills in the game, which I like. Yeah, I like that too. Though it can get a little monotonous because the way to train your skills is hit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, well, how do you just like continually hit stuff to train your skills? And th then players came up like with a lot of different ways to do that, and it's kind of interesting how that was engineered so um mages have the ability to summon a variety of creatures that you would find in the wild to fight and one of the things they can summon are there are two different ones a ghoul or a monk both of which have the ability to self-heal and then you would basically have your friend uh, constantly attacking the ghoul or the monk while a weak enemy hits them so they can train their shielding and their <laughs> combat skills. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's between Tibia and these mods I'm playing, I feel like me and you are going through an arc of old school MMOs and just... But this one is updating. I would be playing it right now if it let me, but it didn't because it's, <laughs> it's doing a huge update. That's Thanks. awesome. Oh shit. But yeah, just, you know, game. I feel like old MMOs hit different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you, want, uh, want me to say some of the, the like, the, the fucked up shit in Tibia? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, so when you when you die, you lose 10% of your character's total gained experience lifetime. Total? Total. Ho holy shit. <laughs> and, That's a consequence. 
and levels go infinite. So if you were <laughs> a, a level 400 character and died, you would lose like eight levels, which was would have been months of work. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. And um, uh, along with that, you also drop all your inventory. Uh, not your all of your equipped gear necessarily. Each piece of gear has a 10% chance of dropping individually. But the you are guaranteed... Room. We're through all this way to get to this other side of this room and there's nothing here. It's just... You're just back fuck? in this room again? Stupid dungeon. <laughs> it's just here to torture you. Yep. <laughs> back I go. But yeah, it's like... This brings up an interesting conversation of like... Sometimes bad ideas can be good. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. It's just kind of... Make death have consequence. Because like... Yeah, yeah. It, in, exactly. in World of Warcraft, what happens when you kill an enemy player? They they, they respawn in 10 seconds. Yeah. Give you what happens. They call up the goon squad to come kill your ass because you fucked with them. <laughs> Wait, and, what do you mean by that? So, in Tibia, they're, they're well, they're, there's hardcore PvP servers, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. What we're going to talk about sure. is normal PvP servers, where basically... It's, if you're not in a safe zone, which is like a depot where you're, you hold your items or like the temple where you respawn, it's complete, you can be PK'd anywhere. Wow, but okay. when somebody is, like attacks another player, they get a skull, which means that they're flagged for other players to kill them without getting a skull. Mm. So if somebody walks up on you and kills you, they're going to have a skull. And then you'd be like, hey... I'm like, I'm only level 20, but I have a level 100 friend and a level 30 guy just killed me. Hey, level 100 friend, go kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the mods I've been playing have a bit of that kind of like and, and they're play, even player led vigilantes and stuff. There's <laughs> even a spell in the game, find person, that you get pretty early on where you can find yeah, any yeah. person with it. Yeah. It tells you like um, a direction, like north, south, east, west, and uh, if they're <laughs> up, up a floor or down a floor. <laughs> That's insane, yeah. I think I think Arkea has something like that too. Um, the mod I've been playing, like I think it was an alchemy spell to let you just find people. I'm like, man, that's that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But what so else is um, like they have? I found um in Psionics, there's a spell that lets you send a message to a player. Like I don't know if you can like if it's just from an anonymous source or whatever, but like you can kind of fuck with people. <laughs> And like they need a certain level of like psychic defenses to be able to tell like it's a it's like an implanted message. That kind of reminds me of like um, different languages in World of Warcraft. How you can like if you're a Draenei, you can speak mm. Draenei. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that kind Draenei. of thing in RPGs. Mm -hmm. and you like need to like level up your language proficiency or something. Depends on the game. Mm -hmm. Shit. How many uh, lives do I have left? I got three left. So I know if you kill one person, your skull only lasts for like 30 minutes, but penalties start stacking up. So mm. if you kill three people in quick succession, there, there, there's like a lot of complicated rules with like killing people over multiple weeks and whatnot. But like mm. if you kill three people, you will then become a red skull player. You don't have the normal white skull, you have a red skull. And that mm -hmm. red skull is going to last for much longer than a white skull. White skull, like even after killing two people, your white skull maybe lasts an hour. Red skull, mm -hmm. first level of red skull lasts a week. <laughs> and not only do you have that skull, which means, yeah, anybody can kill you for no reason. They can just attack you for fun. Uh, if Red Skull players, no matter what, drop their entire inventory, including equipment. Hmm. Wow. So if you if you see a Red Skull player, you're incentivized to kill them because hmm. they're a sack of loot. <laughs> yeah, and it, it disincentivizes being a dick. But if you want to live that life, that's up to you. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah, I, love I mean, that kind of thing. as a red skull, you can still fight back, which is hmm. they added a third type of skull, black skull, which you oh, would okay. get from killing ten people unlawfully. <laughs> and a black skull makes it so you can no longer attack people, and you take double damage in PvP. <laughs> you can't attack people. Oh my god! No, nope. so you're basically just in gay baby jail. Yeah, you're you're literally like, hey, if you walk outside, you're gonna insta die. And how do you get it, rid of the black skull? You wait a month. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's basically the you've gone too far thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Which is why, if you're like a low level player, it's really unlikely you're gonna get killed by anyone who isn't also a low level player. So, mm. if you, if if like a level four hundred guy walks up on you, he's not gonna kill you. You're not worth it to kill. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. the, what the what people... I found interesting in um in Arkea is you can level up by player killing. <laughs> so I did say that there is a hardcore PvP server which oh, yeah, yeah. does in fact offer you experience for killing other players. Oh with fuck no yeah. skill <laughs> Man, I fucking it's so like you just on paper it's like oh my god you can like you can see the problems of this. But it's so fucking cool. I don't care. Like, I feel like when games games have really like taken this trend in like the modern year where you know there's a code of good game design, and if you go against it, then your game is bad, right? But I feel like that like stifles so much interesting ideas. And sometimes, no, the the <laughs> no, <pain. laughs> no I'm back here. Fuck. He is for bait. Oh, I got baited. Oh. But my rat was basically just like, <laughs> yeah, I like when games can do things that are a bit spicy, like. Mm -hmm. some... And Tibia used to be even spicier. So I mentioned, <laughs> um, wait, what did I just get? Uh, oh, that's cool. Um, but, um. It's fucking dungeon. <laughs> so. Back I go. Tibia di didn't used to have level requirements on gear. Hmm. So, like, there are some pieces of gear that's like, hey, this is that hammer with 45 attack, when, like, hmm. in, the, <clears throat> in the starter area, your highest attack weapon is 16. And the <laughs> highest attack weapon in the game at the time was 50. <clears throat> yeah. So you Wait, could just say, be say, like, say, oh, say, I'm say. a level 10 character with a 45 attack weapon. And yeah, then you would wow. just, like train your your weapon skills from, from with a friend for like a month and then suddenly <laughs> you're like a level 10 player who can one shot a level 40 player <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> mm -hmm. unfortunately though they have to stop that and i think that is i i don't like it but i understand it level yeah. requirements on gear is kind of important they they needed somewhere to go with weapons or like they can't just like they wanted to make stronger weapons, but they can't if a beginner, like if a beginner player has the strongest weapon in the game, and it's like, oh, they one shot a level one hundred. It's like, oh, well, what what's going on here? This yeah. seems wrong. <laughs> it's going down, yeah, yeah. Still, though, yeah. you can wield pretty high attack weapons at pretty early levels, and they've made it so the early levels you get through a lot faster. Like, they give you double experience now from, um, from until Black... level 50, I think. I remember Black Desert Online had it so there weren't, like, level requirements for gear. Um, but you need to be able to afford them. And the game doesn't really let you trade money and stuff, so you need to make money. You need to make a lot of money to progress in that game. And I think that's cool. I mean, I've played MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV where money doesn't mean anything, and that pisses me off. Because money, like, economy in an MMO is such a huge deal. Yeah. To me. Yeah, no, it's 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 part of the player interaction. It, yeah. Like, literally, like, you could play Final Fantasy XIV without talking to anybody ever. Like, just delete your chat, and you could still, like, do end game rating, and it's done. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit sad. Watch but out yeah, like, for holes. You know, I think we're good. Black Desert okay, definitely has think, its yeah. um. <laughs> Black Desert definitely has its problem, but I like the idea of just like this is a game about making money, and that's how you progress through the game. 
and the whole game is kind of built around that you know you, you kind of like end up having this like merchant empire and you get like you know workers working for you doing jobs in the mines and crafting things for you that which you can then sell it's like that's just that's a good gameplay loop um i just wish the game was a little bit better <laughs> mm -hmm. but but yeah it's a great idea and that's what really hooked me into the game when i played it yeah i tried playing it but it it didn't have enough freedom for me because yeah. when i started playing it i just ignored quests and just ran off into the field killing stuff and then yeah, it was like, go back to the first field you were killing stuff in. And I was like, no, I'm yeah, just going yeah. to yeah. stop playing because, like, d d don't tell me what to do. That's why I love <laughs> Tibia. Tibia, does, Tibia does not give a shit what you do. You yeah, just start yeah, yeah. playing the game and it's just like, go, just, just go. Just it, go, yeah. You'd be a tutorial. It was just you spawn in and you can like click around and click on stuff. <laughs> That's a, that might be a bit much. I think having some player onboarding is nice. But then I also noticed like when I was playing Arkea, like one of the cool things is like there are tutorials. There's definitely like a tutorial quest line, which is probably wasn't there in the beginning if I were to guess. But one thing they mentioned consistently is find a mentor, find a player to help you. And like there are actually like systems which will incentivize like experienced players to help newer players and like they'll get rewards for it and like mm -hmm. i love stuff like that make it more about the player experience instead of just a single player game like we're playing an online rpg for a reason you know yep should be if about you, the if you wanted to give tibia a try there is stuff like that too yeah i mean like i'm definitely like a bit interested but i'm i'm i want to try out these mods a bit more first but um yeah, mm -hmm. fucking maybe sometime we'll give it a shot. Cause I just I'll be like, playing I, for a while. I, yeah. I, I'm hooked now. I've made it that there's basically for the longest time when I played, there was like getting to be a higher level was like near impossible because mm -hmm. basically all the best places to get experience already have people in them. Yeah. And like the way it works is like people all don't just all pile in there there's actually more to it than that oh those split into two i guess they do now <laughs> Maybe that's Weird. why do these give xp these no. oh, yes <laughs> Fuck. what are the rules <laughs> there's no rules in zelda 2. <laughs> all right i'm going here now i feel like this dungeon could have been made better like it feels a little bit like the dev was slacking on this one. It's just, I think I had a lot more fun added in the other random pollution data without caring about the art. Well, that was kind of in the original game too, but um, I feel like they didn't change it enough from the original game. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Just a bit generic. All right, well, I'm on the other side of that place now, so that's good. I'm making progress. Wait a second. Wait, what? Hold on, I need to get back. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you can bring this conversation back to Zelda too, right? This game has like, well, it's, it's not the same thing, but just the idea of like, I like when games are a, a bit more of a wild west of ideas and people didn't know what quote unquote good game design was yet. So they just did weird shit. I miss it. I miss it a lot. And sometimes it wasn't always good, you know, it's not like, I don't want to be too rose-tinted glasses about all this. Some of these old games fucking suck. <laughs> and, but, or have aspects of them that fucking suck. But I still appreciate them, like, for trying and like, because like, a game like this has so many unique and really cool gameplay ideas that you can't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And I think that's worth the price of having a bit of shit. But then I look at something like Tibia and it's like, this is a game that has been out for 25 years and it's yeah. still going strong. Well, maybe not strong. At its peak, it had like like hundreds of thousands or maybe even close to a million players. Now it's like yeah, low, like it's above 10,000, but still not That's as a high lot. as it could be. That's quite a lot. Wow. I'm more than I expected. I, I could log out and tell you how many people are playing right now. There is mm -hmm. 
Although, keep in mind, the servers just came back up. There's 4,800 people playing. That's amazing. Yeah, there's... The mods I've been playing are a lot smaller. But, the people that do play them are, like, dedicated. Like, mm -hmm. it really seems like those players are, like, playing all the time. <laughs> Good for them. They must not have a lot going on. <laughs> They're having a good time. You know, yeah. I can't fucking blame them. So I might have, like, sabotaged my progress, but I want to comb every, like, corner of this dungeon before I'm done. I need to make sure I pop my magic when I fight these guys. They're like the toughest enemy in the game. Gotcha. Have you tried using the power of chicken to defeat the birds? <laughs> I think that'll go well. <laughs> or maybe it'll go great. <laughs> Alright, so we're back here now, I guess. Alright, um... I guess we'll turn around. No, wait, we can't. Wait, can I, remember, we... I remember like an hour ago, you are like, guess we're getting ready to fight Thunderbird. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. It looked like we are on the right track, but then we weren't. This, this dungeon. But then there was a Goomer. <laughs> we got Goomer instead. <laughs> Oops, all <old> Goomers. <laughs> I don't need to get up there without jump spell. There we go. Oh, this is really annoying. Okay, okay. Ow. Ugh. Made it. Okay, back here. I feel like we're nearly into the dungeon now. So I think if you hit them once, they explode to two. No? All right. I don't know anymore. <laughs> We're gonna hit him a couple of times. Okay, that's how it works. If you kill it, you don't get any experience. You need to let it pop first into two, and then you can kill them for experience. Oh my God. It makes sense. Sure. <laughs> Stop following me. been here. Oh, the fairy. It's a trap. It is a trap, but um, if I'm careful, I might be able to sneak out. Yes. Yeah, which way am I going? Um, I guess I'll go this way first. Just be really careful of those trap doors and stuff. Well, well, so I noticed the fairy, I think it works based on your health. So if you have more health left over, the fairy will rescue you. Oh, there's an extra life. Let's go. Nice. Do, 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 do. How do we get up there? Jump? No? It's probably a trap. That's fucking no. Oh no, that's right. I did. I did go from the other side. Um, you can't. I didn't get the pee because I fell through the invisible floor thing. The uh -huh. floor with no collision.
Now, do I dare go left and face the possibility of more trapdoors? In fact, I see a little hole there. There is definitely another trapdoor in that room. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate. And right, off I'll go all the way. Hey, bird dude. Anxiety spiking. Yeah, there's definitely a trap door there. <laughs> you know, if I get the chicken, I can probably get it, but it's risky. <laughs> chicken! It's time for chicken! I don't have enough magic. Yo, it is to Nope. I had head bounce off of the dudes. <laughs> I'm good. I didn't experience that bad. So I think we're at Thunderbird now, in a few rooms. <laughs> famous last words. No, they're they're definitely not famous last words. You'll be talking a lot more about how <laughs> <laughs> I do love fighting these guys though, it's such a intimidating challenge. Fuck. Ah, die. Got him. Good job. What? I thought this is the way to the boss! Where am I going? <laughs> what? Who knows? Oh no! I thought I was here! There's nowhere else to go! Excuse me? You didn't what? fall down- you didn't fall down the place. Did I miss something? Oh wait, maybe you're right. Maybe that trapdoor... Actually leads me to the to the real the real exit. Ah, good thinking. It has to be somewhere. It has to be. Fire. All right, we could really use some healing magic now. Yeah, I missed that. Didn't see it. I just like chill out for a second. I'm I've almost got enough magic to heal. Shit! I say yeah. and kill myself immediately. God damn it! <laughs> Chicken time. Bark, bark. Alright, where's the secret? It's it's gotta be I think this was from the original game actually. Oh, why is my computer lagging? Oh, I can't break it as a chicken? Yeah. Oh, I wasted this magic. Yeah, you gotta break one of these blocks since down there. Whoa, what is going with my computer right now? What is happening? Uh, Task manager? Hello? I can hear you in Discord. Why is my CPU so high? It's calming down a bit. Huh, weird. I think it might have been my malware bites. There it is. Okay, now we're definitely close. Yeah! Alright, I'm like right at the end now. Should I level up my life? Or should I wait and get magic or attack? I'm like really close. Life. Or wait, I forget. Does D Dark Link copy your life? Nah. You know, I'm not getting life. I'm gonna save it. Oh shit, I can afford. 
Magic is good. Also, attack is good. You will need to cast Thunder on Thunderbird. I'm gonna get magic. Ma magic. That's a lot of experience at this game. Wow. Hello. Hey, buddy. That's right, you gotta go through that hole. I wanna check out what's here first. It's just a fairy. I don't need it, but I guess I'll take it anyway. <laughs> Especially if Zelda 2 got an online multiplayer mod. <laughs> what would that look like? Could you sword fight each other? Man, that'd be crazy. I feel like it could work. Maybe. What, it'd be, what it'd, it'd be a bit janky. If, if this got online multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem like it would be the... I mean, the lag would be an issue, but it doesn't seem like... It would yeah. be outside the realm of doable. Hmm. Make it a battle royale. <laughs> so it do battle royale. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> I'd play it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I think there's a secret there. No, it's just this dungeon being full of japes. Oh, it's underbed time. I wonder if this is different. Gotcha. Okay. So do you aim for the head? Is that how it works? Yeah. You know what would help you with this fight? What? Chicken. No. You get to slow fall, so you get multiple head hits. Easy. Fucking easy. Yeah, it was too easy. You didn't chick it. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. I could have afforded this sword. That's all right. The attack up on me. All right, Darkling time. Fuck. Um, yeah, I guess I'll need to protect. Let's see if this is any different. Must there be three of them? Hey, wizard dude. Three Darklings. Should we see if the um the exploit's still in? Sure. Oh, he's not coming! <laughs> he did do it! He did fix the exploit! Good on him! That's awesome! Alright, let's go! Let's fucking go! He made it good! I'm so happy! <laughs> yes! Not using jumps. We're gonna beat without jumping, alright? But he jumps. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not stooping to his level. <laughs> and he's not he's not jump stabbing either. He has some chivalry. Let's go. It's time for chicken. <laughs> chicken. Imagine if he copied you. As okay, how about chicken. if you if you die, you have to chicken. Deal. But I'm gonna win. Yeah. Hope you heard the sadness there. Come on, Darkly, get him. 
<laughs> Fuck him up! <laughs> jump attack! Jump attack! <laughs> get him! Yeah, get him! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, get him! Yeah! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> get him! Keep jumping! Keep jumping! He's not gonna jump! You can't get him! His defense is too good! <laughs> get him! A couple more hits, you got this! I thought about it. <laughs> thought about what? The jump attack. Yeah! Damn Let's it. fucking go! <laughs> oh, that was gamer. <laughs> Didn't even have to use a heal spell. Oh. Yay! You got a piece of cheese. <laughs> That's right. In, in Zelda 1, there was only two Triforces. I guess this introduces the three. The two Triforces, not. Yeah, the, it was two the Triforces. Duo Force? <laughs> duo Force? You saved Hyrule, and you are a true hero. Was real hero. Mark. Uh, it was all a play. It was on stage. <laughs> Staged! <laughs> Not a real kiss. It didn't happen. You can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Look, they're gone. They were never real. <laughs> Blink is Adventuresome Creator. I guess that is the official name. Yay! Thank you, Hoverbat. Patreon. So I believe it I believe it's patrons, but <laughs> nope. Patreons. Damn. I like I like subscribed to the Patreon like just after this came out. <laughs> I missed out by like a day. <laughs> I mean I mean if he does updates it, I assume the the patrons will get in. Maybe. Uh, I wonder how long this goes for. <laughs> depends how many patrons there are. I don't think there are many. What if there are yeah. an infinite number of them? Game style. Roshi Yamauchi. There's definitely a few names here that I just don't recognize. I wonder if they have to work with Nintendo or not. Sutta san. Here's the five programmers. <laughs> these are probably these these are all nicknames too, like Yeah. Thanks a million. Luckism. Push start to replay. Alright. So like, is it gonna stop me from Okay. Here we go. What's this new game plus? This nice. is a fucking this is a whole new game! Nice! Oh no, <laughs> do I have to start from the start? <laughs> oh no. Of I got course. A, I got a bottle. A what bottle? What's the bottle do? You still have all your spells. 
have all my spells and I have all my skills. Oh, wow. Well, it's a new game. Yeah, I guess it's a new game. Oh my god, I'm not finishing tonight. <laughs> Um, that's when yeah. they, they make the, the Thunderbird and Link harder at the end. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know, like... There's more content that I haven't seen yet, and maybe it is limited to New Game Plus. Like, I suppose that makes sense. Back to this, I remember this. Yeah, but um, that means I'm gonna play the whole fucking game again. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yay, yeah, you get to play the game again. I mean... So nice of them. <laughs> it's kind of hard you, to finish. Use chicken. <laughs> just, just chicken this. I don't. Oh wait, I have chicken. I do have chicken. Um, but I don't think chicken has as much height. I don't know if that's possible. But we can test. Remember, you could use jump and chicken at the same time. You could, but I don't know if it's enough height. Well, let's see. It's a bit weird. It's the same height, it's just, it's a bit different with how you can float. Yeah. And how about we speed run? How, what will be the quickest route to get to, um... I'm not sure, island? but I, I find it odd that your XP bar is so huge. And your yeah, I, kept, bar. I, I kept all my levels. Okay, even though the bars are small? So the bars are small because I don't have the heart pieces and stuff. Oh. Yeah, but I'm still like full power apart from that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Do I, do I keep the slimes? Let's go back and see if I have all the <laughs> slime. I talk to Zelda. Well, she's looking at you. Yeah. Be brave and Link. good luck on your journey. So what even is the journey, right? Zelda's safe. Like, <laughs> what's the plot here? <laughs> Zelda's the final boss now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have downstab. <laughs> it's going to take some getting used to. Well, I guess I got more game to play. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna play much more tonight, though. Oh, yeah, I can't go down here yet because I don't have the requ requisite skills. So, I can skip the first dungeon if I want now that I have the jump spell. But I don't have the torch. That, no, that, that would make things a bit tricky. <laughs> so let me know this out. We need the torch. We need um uh, the hammer, I think. Well, that might technically be optional, but you need to go through Death Mountain to do that. So yeah, we need the hammer pretty much. Um, and then you need the raft, which you get from the third dungeon. Um, I think... The second dungeon, you get the power glove thing, which lets you break blocks, so that's also required. Basically, I'm just going to play the game. <laughs> yeah, no way around it. Fairy. Well, this has been adventuresome. <laughs> do you, all right, you want me to speed run the first dungeon? I can do that before we finish. 
It's interesting that I keep my magic, but I don't keep my sword skills. Hmm. Um, I'm just wondering if there's any sort of shortcut I can do with these skills. Probably not. Jump is the only thing. Maybe fairy, but... Don't have my extra lives anymore, do I? Yeah. And this time, I'm gonna use the fucking jump stab. <laughs> Better. Speed run. picking magic for my final level up. Uh -huh. It's the most useful in a new game plus when you have to like hardly any magic but it lets you use like all the spells with only three bars. Mm -hmm. How does that work? What do you mean? So each time you level up magic, the cost of each spell decreases. Hmm. Why is it like that? Seriously? I will be right back. Going to put on food. Okay. I might be done with the game by the time you're back. Oh, are you that close to just ending? I'm speedrunning. I need to get the candle and then fight the boss. Which can- oh wait, are you, are you not- wait, what boss? Um, boss head. Okay, so you're, you're not doing Thunderbird? I thought that's what you were doing. No, I'm speedrunning the first dungeon. <laughs> and, then, and then you're calling it? Yeah. 
Okay, I can wait then. Yeah, not much longer. Ow. Hey, jump through him. And then go hit anyway. I should probably get the piece of art, maybe. I can do that when I get it. See how fast I can kill this guy. This will be pretty funny. Chicken. You won't. Alright, I'll do the chicken. Oh no. <laughs> chicken doesn't work! What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> You've cursed me, Lobo. You've doomed me. Yes! <laughs> Are you happy? I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because you didn't have jump. Try chicken and jump. Two hits. <laughs> what way? <lame. laughs> <laughs> it's because the chicken softened him up in the first round. Yeah. left until I'm max level. I'm starting to think of actually doing a bit more. <laughs> Getting into a rhythm. Speed running rhythm. Sure. Part of me wants to stop and part of me wants to keep going. I'm like torn. <laughs> I think it's that it's that last number taunting me. It's like one more level, Sophie, and then you'll be max level. Won't that feel satisfying? Come on. But you may as well go get food now. Uh, I'm kind of locked into my seat at this point. <laughs> what for? <laughs> Not for anything. Just I'm I'm here now. I'm sitting, okay. enjoying <laughs> right. the seat. <laughs> All right. Guess I'm doing this.
Oh. We shot some spell to make Link run faster. That'd be a cool, like, that'd be a cool final spell. <laughs> Maybe I should grab an ice cream. Apparently dad bought ice creams for everyone, but I'm the only one that likes them, so yay, free ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was a secret, wasn't there? There was a secret in this area. Is it up here? Yeah. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was a one-up. That was a magic up. I remembered that. experience. Wow. This is time for chicken. Absolutely. the fairy to save me. F. F. Oh, he's jumped as well. Oh, screw it. That was so easy. Easy mode.
Yeah, there is a cave down here I should probably check out. I forget what's in here. It might be a heart. It might just be experience. It might be magic. Yeah, I think it was a magic container in the original. Think of it, I was missing one magic container in my last playthrough. I wonder where that was. I guess I'll save here? Where's the save lady? Should probably be unlocking these, huh? Guessing they aren't unlocked by default. Maybe I'll just not die. I actually don't need to see your uncle, so I think I won't. Basically, I'm going diving without a... a uh, what's it called? Um, helmet to breathe underwater. <laughs> oh, it literally won't... Okay, well, that that's... I was just gonna let it, it damage me, but it's like, no, 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 you're stupid. You can't die without a helmet. <laughs> well, what if I wanna be stupid? It's the one with the blocks, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you also do, let me do this without having seen the other guy already? Yeah. Strats. Right. 
In Tibia, you can fist fight a shark if you want to. <laughs> That's great. Wait, really? Hmm. Also, a cool thing that uh, Tibia has that I, I just like that I'm going to comment on. I'm currently wearing a helmet that obviously makes it so that I don't take water damage, basically, right? Mm hmm. Well, if you're fighting water elementals, it's actually useful against them because their attacks throw the same type of damage you take from drowning. So <laughs> it, yeah, it makes you immune to their damage, which is cool. Wow. So my computer's lagging again. What the hell? Where's OBS that's lagging? I think it's OBS. New stream looks fine. Does it? Yeah, I have your Twitch open. Hmm. So maybe it's the my computer. What's going on? And once again using a hundred percent CPU from OBS mainly. What are you doing, OBS? I might actually do some diagnostics real quick. That's really slow. Um, that's, yeah, weird. Is my VTuber avatar lagging it? Uh, Why is OBS yeah. using so much CPU? I really don't have that much open. That's insane. Oh god, is my computer still breaking? Thought we fixed all these problems. Oh, so it's yes yeah, lagging so much. What the hell? Maybe we should end the stream here then. A bit worrying? Well, I just saved, so we can continue this at any time. But yeah, um, thanks for joining, folks. Um, nice chill stream. I'll probably continue Zelda 2 at some other point. I don't know if I'll be on stream or not. Maybe I'll play it a bit off stream and stream the new content when I get to it. But yeah. All right, well, thank you for joining. And, and to anybody who's watching the VOD, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye.